CodeDeploy makes deploying into your self-managed EC2 instances very easy. Instead of connecting to each server and updating them through tools like Capistrano, you can upload a new version to CodeDeploy and it will push out those changes in a controlled manner to all of your instances. A small agent on each of your machines will check for updates and apply them. And with the CodeChip integration, deploying to AWS CodeDeploy can be set up in seconds. Here, we've got three servers set for CodeDeploy and a project on CodeChip that contains the application. When you go to the projects configuration, we can add AWS CodeDeploy to our master branch. Apart from the basic AWS credentials, we need the application name and deployment group we want to deploy to. We're going to deploy to the codechip-codedeploy application and the front-end deployment group. The S3 bucket is used to store a zipped version of your application for deployment into codedeploy. You can use subfolders in your S3 buckets as well. In the More Options section, you can also set a specific deployment config that manages how fast you roll out your new versions to which percentage of your service. If you leave this empty, it will use the default you've set in your code deploy settings. Now we've got everything set up, so let's restart the last build to watch the deployment. The application gets packaged and uploaded to S3. Then we tell code deploy to pull the new version and start the deployment. The build will wait for it to finish and fail in case anything goes wrong. You can also watch the deployment from the AWS Code Deploy console. The deployment now finished successfully and we can see the result on the web page. Get started immediately with CodeChip and the new AWS Code Deploy integration to deploy into your EC2 infrastructure very quickly and easily.